Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Alberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can grow your authority and convert with ease. Today's tip is don't lose you. There's this thing that happens to athletes when they overtrain. They overanalyze every stroke, swing, or step. They start to overthink what they're doing. Their emotions and reactions become too premeditated, too stiff, too awkward. The pressure to perform mounts. And then, usually when it really matters, they choke. Or they get the yips. I hear something similar with podcasters. They don't usually choke. They just stop sounding like themselves and their show starts to tank. And this is usually closer to the beginning of their podcast journey, which can be really discouraging for a lot of podcasters. This is before they've found their true voice. They're thinking so hard about the format, content, structure, and sound that they don't sound like themselves anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. It's important to try to improve your performance. You want your show to sound great, and you want to make sure that your content is serving your listener, but not at the expense of your authenticity. This is not a free pass to wing it. I repeat, I am not suggesting that you stop trying and start relying on whatever natural talent you have. On the contrary, you do want to focus on constantly improving how you show up for your audience and how well you serve them. But if you find yourself manipulating your show or its content, following what some guru says will get you more downloads, stop right there. If you find yourself sounding formulaic and stiff because you're trying to do what the pros do, give your head a serious shake and imagine Cher saying this, snap out of it. There's really only one thing that you and only you can bring to the table every episode, and that's you. You are the one irreplaceable part of your podcast. Love you or hate you, you are what is going to create your loyal audience. When you start to take you out of the equation because you are trying to fix you, aka your voice, how you talk, your presentation style, or your ideas, you will lose the magic. In other words, you'll do the podcast equivalent of six putting away your five shot lead on the 18th hole. Why are you looking at me like that? I did not do that. I know someone who did, but I didn't, okay? Here's a few tips for reconnecting with your authentic podcasting self. Number one, stay present. Listen to your guest and have a conversation. You can still keep things on the rail without following your question list like a teacher reading the student class list. Number two, tap back into your why. Remember why you started podcasting. Recall what it was about this particular topic that made you think you wanted to talk about it nonstop. And if you're podcasting for your business, remember your brand and what you represent. Number three, let go of the shoulds. I know it's cliche, but be yourself. If you've been doing some research and find yourself thinking, this guru says I should do this, or this podcaster had success doing this, so I'm going to try that. Just stop, okay? Just don't try to be anybody else. And that's kind of what number four is. Stop trying. If I could channel my inner millennial for a moment, you be you, boo. Don't be the podcast host version of yourself. Just be yourself, you know, with your own voice and your own accent and your own words and your own style. Yes, you do naturally have all of these things. And that's where the magic is. Seriously, if you try too hard in your podcast, you risk losing the authenticity that likely brought your subscribers to you in the first place. Keep your performance updates simple and subtle. Pivot. Don't do a full 360 with your content. Improve a little bit every episode and don't expect to become Mark Marin overnight. Heck, even Mark Marin doesn't try to be as good as Mark Marin. And I hope that's just the tip you need. And for the love of pizza pops, don't try to coach yourself. Get some professional help to guide you to the next level. Not the top, just to the next level. 
Oh yeah, that's what I do. Feel free to book a 15 minute coaching call. That should give us enough time to get you started without getting you overwhelmed. And for a few tips on what you can do to raise your performance one tip at a time, check out my episodes focused solely on performance. I've linked to it in the show notes. You can book your free 15-minute coaching call at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Walbert. See ya! Snap out of it! Snap out of it! What movie did she say that in? Snap out of it! Is it Moonstruck? Snap out of it! No, that's not it. (laughs) 